Cobalt, written by Mercury Rome. I'll be playing Ryan. I'm playing Mac. I'm playing Loretta. I'm playing Joan. And I'll be playing George. So, Mac, this is the banking site you go to. I've set you up an account for self-directed investing. But when you want to do it, you just call me on that phone I got you, just text me, and I'll be here as soon as I have time. When I want to do it? Dear God, that's exceedingly forward. Okay, I should clean up and stuff in here, because last time we were at, like, a nice hotel. <laughs> I meant you want to make an investment purchase, a stock purchase. You rogue man. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, thank God. Loretta's back. I thought for a second you were being exceedingly forward. How un-Loretta-like. I thought you were Loretta's mischievous twin. Okay, you can't stay in this financial state, Mac. You have to take care of yourself. So, with a little bit of the income you make from the bookstore, you can invest it here a little each month, and that will grow some funds for you, which you don't spend. You save it. Save and invest all the time, okay? That's how normal people get ahead. Yes. Now, are you behind on rent? Yes, the landlord is pissed. How much? $300 under for this month. Here. And please don't spend so much on media anymore. How about one DVD per month? Okay, I can do that. I'll become frugal lest I plummet to the economic pavement yet again. I set up a movie streaming account for you, too, on there. Much cheaper. You can watch movies so you're blue in the face for a small monthly rate. understand. Thank you for everything. No, I know. I, I just meant like a hug. I, sorry, I, I wasn't being forward. Y you mean the world to me, and not to me the people are, are angelically kind to me, and also cinematically beautiful, and sophisticated women are also able to negotiate reality and show me how to do it. How to do it? Oh my God, I meant just <laughs> how to negotiate society, you rogue lady. What did you think I meant? <laughs> Dear God. <laughs> Your sense of humor is infectious, Mac. I couldn't help it. You bring people to your level. Yeah, I, I grow up people I know. You certainly do. That's why you're attached to me. And that's why you might run away with me someday. Maybe in another life. In another universe, Mac, I'd like to. Honestly. There's a lot of pressures in everyone's lives. Family expectations. Work expectations, as you know, financial expectations. Love is something you can find if you're fortunate enough to have the time and opportunity. Or if you're fortunate enough to be obscenely rich, <laughs> stock trading account that Loretta set up for me. I'm hitting the big time, baby. Spin that freaking wheel of fortune. Gotta get wealthy, everybody. Gold, silver, tech, do it up, whatever. Quick, I want to start buying up shit in small amounts. Spin it, people! <laughs> Get me into the casino of life. Light infrastructure, that's what I need, baby. Enough of this pizza begging game. Fuck that shit. I'm better than that. I deserve more from the world. I want hundreds sticking out of my underwear, bad man. I want purple, <laughs> green, and brown bills lying in my bare bum cheeks, man. I want to use them for toilet paper, even. That's how many big bills I'll have in my possession. Because the red sense. Move on up in life. And the way Loretta says, I do. Get my life together. She opened a fucking account for me, put a bit of money in it, and now it's time for me to become a surefire stock trade account hammerhead shark. <laughs> Ruthless in the marketplace. <laughs> Soon you'll get the hang of how to maintain your TFSA or tax-free savings account. TF whatever the fuck. You bet. That <laughs> must mean that acronym's got to mean talking, fucking serious assets. Because, yeah, because I just want to save the right. Savings accounts suck. I want to risk it all. I want to make love to the roulette table of society, baby. Million dollar chips from the future, falling from my ears and even from my bomb crack. The present and the past will both flush. That's how much money I'll have to shit out. So load that stock stuff up. Lock and load, people. Hit me. Got to outrun inflation. Got to outrun my own brain. Got to repair my broken family someday and advance my silly mind. Going to be free. Billionaire by 30, everybody. Let's go. <laughs> Loretta says, I got to create 
more stability in my life. And what Loretta says is fucking scripture. <laughs> I'll give you 50 bucks right now, people. Everybody, you can send it out there. Buy drugs, weapons, guns. I don't give a fuck. Forestry products, oil, human AI, Blade Runner beings. Doesn't even matter. Put me in the market because I am made of solid silver luck. Hell, I'll even sell myself. I'm pretty freaking good looking, folks. <laughs> I'm actually pretty. Not just handsome. Brain alternative and super pretty as frick. Exceedingly so. Okay, okay. Text me if you need anything. I do need one more thing. Matt, Kenny, I have to go. That was it. I just, I just wanted to hear it. I'm not that juvenile. Don't worry, Jesus. You're what? You called me a tender name. Because I'm your boyfriend, right? I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm your boyfriend on the side. That's an honor. A woman like her? Are you shitting me? Are you kidding me? I'm honored, folks. I never have anyone of my own, and I still don't. I don't mind being her guy. On the side, not quite her guy, but that's okay. That's still meaningful. <laughs> Did you see that woman, everyone? Exceedingly amazing. Hey, Jason Statham is the man! Yeah, <laughs> he's exceedingly formidable. Resourceful, <laughs> under pressure, always vanquishes the bad guys, it's always a rout. Did they actually think they were going to stop him? I mean, you know he's going to kick every single butt on his way out of the climactic danger zone. Why even try to oppose the transporter with a capital T? <laughs> think he could transport us some um, pizza? You want more? You just had two larges, buddy, and some dessert there. All courtesy of Loretta, she gave me like 500 bucks. Can you give me 25 or so? Jeez, okay. But that's it. i got to pay the rest on my rent and then invest some. Right. <laughs> Thanks. I can wait until tomorrow. I'll head out and then grab some food. Okay. I gotta get to sleep after this movie, okay? Those starting a new lifestyle. Yep. Hey, how are things going with your girlfriend? Pretty good. When? Are you guys gonna move in together? Oh, probably. I mean, eventually. I, I, I don't know. I hope you do. You need to be connected to somebody. In a family sort of home way. Where are your parents? And don't tell me that they're dead from a helicopter crash in the Sahara. That's bullshit for sure. That's straight out of a movie. No, they're, they're in different towns in Ontario. Well, go. You should go see them, you little shit. <laughs> I got some family in Powell River. Well, you should go there then, you big shit. No, I will. I might need about a hundred bucks for a ticket. When I have that, I'll go. Dude, if you promise to go, to live there with your family, I will give you a whole 150 bucks. Actually, I just gave you 25, so I'll give you another 125. Just don't spend it on anything else, okay? So I don't want to see you hanging around the street anymore. Go home. Thanks, man. I will. Fuck. I'll go tomorrow! Don't be hanging around this city. By the end of the week, you better not be here. I like you, dude, but life sucks for most hate injured folks, right? Isn't it like 50% of us hate injured people are homeless or have, you know, I, I read that anyway. That's a stat. I don't know. A lot of us, probably. Anyways, thanks. But hey, from one good looking guy to another, Will you organize yourself and go to Ontario? It's important for you, man. Yeah, sure. After I see where this relationship with Loretta is going to go, and after I've built some assets in my new life as a trader. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Yes. I'll step out of your office, Mr. Elon Musk, sir. TFSA. Tasting financial success at last. <laughs> You can stay, man. Sleep on the floor over there. I've got an extra blanket. Then head to the ferry in the morning. Don't fuck around with that money, though. Go right there, get something to eat, and then buy your ticket. Okay. Thanks. Where did you ever get 
that ridiculous phrase anyway, one good looking guy to another. It's catchy. I rip it off all the time. I'm just wondering though. I was having no luck panhandling one day a few years ago. And before I gave up, I decided to just try to be funny. To laugh at the situation rather than get depressed. Said to the next guy who passed by, he laughed. And he gave me 20 bucks. Told me my charisma was worth the, the donation. So I think it's a good luck phrase, and it kind of just stuck. Yeah, and look, we are good looking. We might as well declare it. Nothing wrong with some confidence. We got at least one personal quality our compromised brains can't take away. Loretta once told me I'm not handsome because I'm beautiful. And shit, she may be right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know if we're as stylish and put together as Jason Statham. We're close, though. Pretty close to that level. We are very, very solid. Smooth. <sighs> Dudes. <laughs> <laughs> You'll find your admirers, too. You'll see. It's inevitable when you're this cool. We're not strange, right? We're, we're, yeah, exactly. We're charismatic. So we won't be on the outside of human society forever, man. That common head injury curse can take a walk and knock them back, as far as I'm concerned. Because I need me recognition instead. Respect from people. To be invited places to shift. More friendly faces more often. Yeah, me too. Hey, why do you have blue everything? <laughs> <laughs> Blueberry stuff everywhere. Is it because you're sad and blue? Alone because you're an outsider? Don't be cavalier, man. That's a real thing. I'm a fucking extraterrestrial man. Few people know me, and I'm sure you can relate, eh? No, though, that's not the reason for the blue decor. Well, not really. It's because it, it reminds me of my folks. For part of my elementary school years, I was raised in a town called Sioux Lookout in northern Ontario. That was a few years before I got hurt in the head. And blueberries go naturally in abundance in that region of the province. Every summer, they have a blueberry festival. Ever since then, I like cobalt blue. That's basically the shade of blueberries, maybe not quite, but close enough. I like the taste of blueberries too. Blueberry yogurt, blueberry muffins, blueberry pie, even blueberry juice. I've had all of it. But it's mostly just what fruit reminds me of, what that particular fruit is. Cobalt means my mom and my folks in general. Being safe and loved and, and belonging somewhere with somebody. Oh. That's why you wear blue denim a lot too? It's comforting? Yeah, and, and that and it's just awesome. And Denim rocks, come on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it does. And it reminds me of my birth era, back when things were a bit easier, before my brain went all difficult on me. <laughs> yeah, you do really need to go to Ontario. Just land your spaceship there and stay. I will, just not right now. But you, get your ass out of here tomorrow. Stay out of Vancouver, stay on the Sunshine Coast forever. It's better for you, man. Don't forget me. Okay, thanks. You better hear me, buddy boy. Go on vacation and don't come back to the street. <laughs> Well, George wasn't involved, don't worry, it was just me and Joan. I played me, she played you. It was about a one minute play, a, a guerrilla theater and drama. And, and you weren't mean per se, just like you didn't want nothing to do with me. As if your world is above mine and you don't need me and nothing I do, nothing about me matters to you. I'm a nobody, I live one step from the street. One little problem at work and I'll be Ryan. He and I will be hanging out together even more, goofing around, only with no roof <laughs> over us. How's your friend doing, by the way? Better if he did what he was supposed to do. I gave him some of the money you gave me so he could buy an expensive ferry ticket back home. His family's way up the Sunshine Coast. Well, that's good of you to send him home. But you need to invest whatever extra money you have. Yes, I, I will now. I'm not buying DVDs anymore. I watch the streaming service. Good, excellent. Yeah. Now, what's all this about me being too high and mighty for you? Well, aren't you? No. I spend time with you. I help you, don't I? Yeah, you do, but I thought maybe that was just you kind of get rid of me, you know? 
you feel better that like, you rescued someone and you can go back to your life and feel better about yourself? And... What do you want me to do, Matt? Marry you? Well, if it's too much of a sacrifice, don't worry about it. I don't know what to do, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> of family and in the absence of real friends of me, besides Ryan, I basically just have some acquaintances and customer service workers who are nice to me. With all that missing, I only really have my idolatry of you. And yeah, I'm sorry. I, I spent a good year or so dreaming that you would be with me for the rest of your life. And when you pass away at 94 and I'm still a young man at 80, I'll go and fuck someone else. <laughs> so I'll go frick someone else immediately. You can bet on that. You'll be rolling over in your grave. Seriously, though, from, from one good-looking person to another, I'm a reservoir of love for you. So, so don't be going down to that old honky-tonk hanging around them rough-and-ready cowboys. Them boys won't respect you, girl. <laughs> but you can hang around me. I'm, an, I'm for life. I'm an off-kilter gentleman. Come on. You are. I'm named after Loretta Young, the actress from the early Hollywood era. Oh, not Loretta Lynn, the country music star? Mm -hmm. Okay, the case remains, though. You stay out of that joint, Loretta. <laughs> that ain't no place for the respectable. <laughs> I know everything you're saying is true. I understand. But everyone in my professional sphere knows that you were my client. I can't be seen fraternizing with a client, let alone being that client's life partner. Plus... <laughs> Aaron and I are in the process of buying property. I mean, my family and his expect our marriage. I'm marrying very late in the game, so I need to have a child right away if I'm going to have one at all. Well, I don't want to have a child. I never will. Yeah, I know. Why is that, by the way, Matt? I'm not trying to tell you what to do. I'm just wondering. Would you want a dad like me? Come on. I'd be at least somewhat unstable a lot of the time. Unreliable. I don't mean to be, and I love the child very much. But every time I got tired, which would be at least like once a day, I'd be all scatterbrained, bad with money, bad with memory, bad with keeping appointments. I don't want to do that to a kid. In short, I'm just not qualified to be a parent. So I'll die childless, and I'm not qualified to be a professional because I can't work full time. I get too tired and dis disorganized, so I'd probably die poor. But, you know, like at least I'm not dying loveless, thanks to you. That's true, Mac. <laughs> and, and you probably won't be poor now either because I showed you what to do with your yeah, that part of my life will probably go better. You're right. And you have a future as a visual artist. You're really good. If you wanted to study art at a college or university, I would help you apply and pay for it, too. I won't abandon you. I never graduated high school. I just read a lot and watch a lot of films. Total media addict. Smart isn't the same as educated, and brain damage doesn't mean dumb. Honey, I know that. I wasn't saying that. I was just trying to help you. I, I forgot that you left in grade 11. Well, if a post-secondary program would need you to have high school equivalency, I could help with that, too. Okay. Well, whatever you think is best. I mean, I follow what Loretta tells me. When Loretta says something important or a good idea, it is, buddy. <laughs> That's so sweet. It's true. You haven't been wrong once yet. Then do you see how it would be difficult for me to be your partner? I can't accommodate the kind of attachment that you need. You need a soulmate, not a girlfriend, not someone you got involved with randomly. Yeah, I see what, you, what you're saying. I mean, it is a real distinction to be a fuck toy, though. 
You are not. You're an important guy. Thanks, Loretta. When you first wrote nicely to me, when I wrote you that email to ask you out, to, and you rejected me with exceeding professionalism, so gentle, so respectful, I never told you, but I had to read that email three times to make sure it was real. And then I cried, because right there at the public computer, I couldn't believe someone I admired had spoken to me that way. You know, right then and there I decided I'd love you for the rest of my life on this shitty planet, if I could. But if I couldn't be with you or find someone else like you, I'd have to imagine someone who talked like you do, also looked as beautiful as you do, and smart like you, and just amazing overall, exceedingly desirable, and I have to follow through time what you represent to me and try to find it in another human being, even though you yourself are, are not even a human being to me, just like a goddess. And I don't use that word randomly, I mean it, like a real life deity on earth. Those ladies took a fancy at immortal sometimes, and I guess it's occurred again. And I'm sorry if that embarrasses you or whatever, but I, I mean every word. I got no filter from my condition, you know that, so honesty is pretty much guaranteed. It's awkward to hear though, probably. I have this fucking empathy problem too from the injury. <laughs> Not that I'm cruel, I just, I can't understand how my words and actions affect others. There's a disconnect there. It's part of why I'm way too blunt. You're fine. very affected by what you said, but in a good way. Okay, I hope I wasn't too eccentric and stuff. Beautifully eccentric. Very refreshing, actually. I don't see that every day. And honestly, I don't see it at home. You're like an emerald on the moon. But I can't be with you. So I'm going to tell you something very important for you to know for your life. You're a very special man and not a problem for people of joy. And I'm more than happy to have known you. And you touched my heart so much, made me feel so good about myself. This was an adventure we had. A wonderful adventure, but a transgression for me, and I need to go back to my life now. Otherwise, it's just too compromising. It could create a serious problem for me. But anything you need materially, anything for your life infrastructure, you can contact me, and I will help you in any way I can. see if, you know, Mount Olympus will drop someone in my path. Maybe, you know, because, yeah, that's right. Honestly, I need more from somebody. I, I need a forever love. Maybe there'll be someone like you in, in the field of visual arts. I doubt it somehow, but, I mean, I'll keep my heart open. Good, honey. Appreciate There are so few social angels around, and I met one in my lifetime. That's exceedingly amazing. That's like finding a four-leaf clover on Mars. <laughs> Who found it, folks? Your own Mac Malone. I just want to say, I'm getting fucking enamored of you guys. I can see you in the dark and you're very good looking. Do you speak me a little bit? Want my email? <laughs> I love you, Loretta. I love you so much. I really, really crazily do. I want all of them to know I'll never, 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 ever, ever forget you. My brain's fucked up, but it don't forget stuff. And it loves an overdrive, darling. It didn't just get wounded, it got tricked the fuck out. I love you a lot! If it isn't the best looking man in Vancouver, Max. <laughs> coin this time. Thank you, everyone. Thank you kindly. Exceedingly gracious of you to greet me so lovingly. I've come to pick up my wristwatch 
and to pay the aforementioned bill of 20 bucks plus five extra George for luck and because you're so good looking. And Lady Joan, such a beauty, of course. A total feudal siren, if I may say so. Such a fox here, folks. <sighs> Oozing with too much poker to describe any further, lest I become <laughs> inappropriate. <laughs> Thank you, Sir McLeanius. You're most welcome, of course. I hope I haven't interrupted your illicit tryst. No, 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 Mac, it's okay. We're just socializing. Both behind the counter, I notice. When's the wedding, Frick's sake? <laughs> <laughs> we'll let you know. Probably in the next few months. Seriously? I, I was just kidding, George. Is this true? You two are going legit? It's true, Mac. Love goes live at long last. Oh, geez, good poetic response, buddy boy. I must be rubbing off on you finally. Well, this news is exceedingly affirming, guys. Fucking congratulations. Freaking congratulations. <laughs> Thank you, Matt. How did things turn out with your love interest, by the way? Exceedingly well on all fronts. Though she and I aren't together, we she collided with my existence in a beneficial way I shall never forget. Taught me how to take care of myself and my finances better. And how to negotiate the world as brain damaged as I unfortunately am. Folks, I bumped my head bad as a child in the battle to grow up. TBI, they call it traumatic brain injury. But that's too permanent sounding and it's a little bit too limiting. We could do better. TBI, training, better insight. Okay? Hey, fuck, as Ryan would say. Why stop there? <laughs> TBI, telepathic beings are intergalactic. She advised me almost like an OT would do because, by God, she is one. An expert. A professional. Yes, I broke myself, folks, but Humpty Dumpty's back in a big way, baby. I got a <laughs> hole in my hat, I'm sure you noticed. Well, fuck you, all right? Because what's wrong with that? I had a very explosive thought of love, okay? It happens. <laughs> Because Lady Loretta loves me and wants me to succeed, I feel great. And because some, well, some transcendent humping might have taken place there, but we can't confirm. Don't you dare, though, folks. Don't you get Cavalier back there in the back row. Because that shit was not sex, okay? That was a blessing. As it is, as it is every time someone you love touches you. You take that observation home with you, folks. That's free, okay? Free with the ticket. <laughs> <laughs> to you, folks, from my alternative world. Okay, okay. A little bit for you, got a little bit extra, okay? You're good looking, okay? You're good looking, you're good looking, you're good looking, you're goddamn good looking, holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> but you know that, so, you know, confidence is good, but don't take it too far, all right? <laughs> <laughs> all right. But anyway, in summary, TFSA forever, baby. Poetic, okay? Real pretentious this time. Temerarius Fellows Stock Ascension, TFSA, okay? Here's another one. I'm taking care of all my local fiscal responsibilities. Everybody guaranteed to get some new socks and undies, okay? Look how fucking excited this guy is. Okay, yeah. All right. Yes, sir. Socks plus undies. Any type you want, yeah? Okay. Okay, look at the excitement. Yeah, I, I, I love you guys. Okay, TFSBA baby, two freaking stinking affluence. So I, I can get it for everybody. Okay, now come on, folks, allow me but one more. One more. What letters am I talking about, folks? Shout it out. T F S A. You bet your asses. TFSA, okay, real sneaky this time. Teasing fee based funds with my seductive approach. <laughs> Love me till the money comes rushing in, buddy. <laughs>